Okay, everybody, here we go. We're going to mix some uh, homemade gravel lax. So, well, cured salmon, at least, anyway. So, we have just some uh, saxa sea salt with uh, rainbow peppers. So, let's go ahead and get these open. And that's just going to go in here, like so. Already got some on that. And we'll get another one. Not the easiest job in the world with gloves on. There we go. So, get some of that. In fact, put some of that back in. Maybe a tad too much. And then we're gonna add some light bro soft brown sugar into that mix, like so. About half and half. Give that a nice mix. A nice spoon here. Give that a good mix. Helps draw out all that extra moisture in the salmon. Nice colors in there. Some black pepper. Is that a mix? And then we are going to add it to some beetroot that it's just been steamed and then grated. So I'm gonna add all that into there like so. So we get that. And then we're gonna give that all a nice mix like so. Yeah, that's all come together. That'll start to break down that um, beetroot and add a nice color into the, uh, just into the surface of the salmon. So we got that. We got this now. I'm just gonna get some uh, clean film. Take the gloves off for this. film like so I just remove this salmon here for a second lay this down like so that's all nice and then we're gonna spoon this on top of this get it nicely spread out like so you can see why I was wearing gloves now you don't want to get that red all over you get that nicely covered get it all packed on there that it's gonna leave a really nice red on top of the, the salmon Want. 
Trying to get every bit of that surface covered up. Like so. There we go. That's it. And then we're going to wrap it. Like so. Like so. Like so. And then again. Do the reverse like that like so like so like so and we're gonna flip it back over and then what we need to do guys is we need to get a flat pan pan here so, and in fact that I'm gonna do a different one because it won't have anything on top of it. I'm gonna use this one here and then we'll get the other one. That's so nice. Then we get another flat pan or a plate you can use as long as it's flat. Choose, use something like this, just like that, and then you just put a press down on that, like so. And then finally, you need a good heavy pan. It's got a nice, like a croissette there. Let's see if we can find the right. Still not the right one. Bingo. So we're going to leave that now on top of that. And we're going to put this in the fridge until tomorrow. And then we'll have a part two of the video. So I look forward to showing it to you. Bye.